Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, I do apologize for being away for so many months. I have had a lot going on in my personal life and that is pretty much the reason why. However, I am now back and I will be back on the regular schedule, so do not worry. Now, in this video, I'm going to be going over the brand new update with the Vave Executor. There have been several changes in the last two months that I was gone. So let's go ahead and open up the Wave Executor and take a look at the differences. If you are interested in purchasing the Wave Executor, then you can do that from the first link in the description, which will take you over to my website. From there, go ahead and click on the Wave Executor just like that. And we do have all of the different durations available in stock. So if you are interested, then be sure to click the first link in the description and then grab your key from there. Once you've gone ahead and purchased your key, simply go ahead and head over to getwave.gg and go ahead and download the actual Wave installer. Then simply go ahead and open up the Wave installer and install Wave. Once you have done that, simply go ahead and open it up just like that. And it should bring you up with the menu and it will ask you to log in or register. So if it is your first time, simply go ahead and register. Otherwise, go ahead and log in. And once you have done that, this is what the new interface looks like. Now, there have been many changes, as you can see, just right off the bat. Let's take a look at all of the options in detail. So firstly, you've got all of the robotics. So I'm not even sure what this is, but this might be the new AI that they have been thinking of implementing. I'm not even sure. This is my first time taking a look. So let me go ahead and test it out real quick. All right, I've just tried messing around with this. It doesn't seem to do anything. I'm not sure if I'm doing anything wrong. So I will confirm this with the team before I give you any updates on this actual feature. Let's go ahead and move down onto the actual script cloud. So of course, this is similar to the script hub that you previously had. You can simply go ahead and search for any sort of script that you want. So for example, we can go ahead and search for Arsenal ESP and it will give me a script that can be used on Arsenal. So that's pretty much what that feature does. Coming down, this is the client manager over here. So this is for the multi instance that you previously had. So you'd be able to use this on multiple accounts at once. I'm not sure if this is as buggy as it was last time. I hope they have made improvements since then. I'm sure they have considering all of the other changes that they have made. To paste your own script, you simply want to go ahead and click on this little plus icon over here and that will allow you to paste your own script. And it does also allow you to open up multiple tabs just like that. Now let's go ahead and jump into an actual game and see the executor in action. To inject the executor into Roblox, it is extremely simple with Wave. All you want to do is simply go ahead and load up the browser version of Roblox just like that and load into any game and that will automatically inject the actual executor. So as you can see, it is loading the game in the background and over here in just a second, it will show us that it has been injected. There we go. Once this icon over here appears, that means it has injected. And at this point, all you want to do is grab any script of your choice, just like that, paste it into the executor and click on this execute button and that will allow you to execute your script just like that. And as you can see, we can fly around and do anything that we wish to. And of course, you can do this on any Roblox game of your choice. And of course, with any script that you want to do it with. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you were looking for a working executor, you do have one now. And with that being said, that is the end of the video. I'll catch you in the next one.